My name is Justine and I'm head of training here at Finwell. And I wanted to start off by having a look at why there's been an increase in popularity and an increase in demand for one-to-one -one financial education and wellbeing support. And I think a lot of people will say, oh, it's because of the cost of living and the economy and where we are now. And that plays a part. But actually, we have to remember that we don't get taught about how to be savvy with our money. We don't get taught about budgeting at school. It's not part of our education growing up. And because of that, we see that there's an awful lot of stigma and taboo about opening up this conversation. You know, you might have learned a little bit from parents growing up, but most of us haven't learned. Therefore, we tend to just learn by making mistakes. And it's important to consider the need for education. OK, it isn't just about having an effective pay policy. It's about understanding the well-being needs from a financial perspective, how that links into both pay and employee benefits um, as part of any culture within an organisation. So there are lots of challenges and limitations. And I think it's fair to say the impact when it comes to one to one support and guidance is 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 huge. And we've seen that through the one to ones and the delivery that we've done with many clients. However, we have to appreciate that not everyone wants or needs or even understands what a financial wellbeing one-to-one -one guidance conversation looks like. So one-to-ones play a pivotal part, absolutely. However, we need to make sure that we are looking holistically at the diverse needs of different people within organisations and one-to-ones play a part of that, but as does learning and education as well. And because of that stigma and taboo, it's important that you know organizations realize that their employees will need different things and the world of financial well-being is huge okay not everyone needs to learn about planning for retirement not everyone needs to learn about insurance and wills and protection so the needs are very very different having one-to-ones as part of an employee benefit package is absolutely crucial but also reviewing that usage as time progresses and having some built-in mechanism to review the effectiveness of those one-to-ones as part of an ongoing program is crucial. So what should employers consider? And I think the first thing is understanding the needs of your people. Okay, I think assumptions can be made by, you know, people in HR and, you know, powers that be that, you know, everybody needs to have something. Okay, but actually what we've learned is that different people will need different things, different people learning different ways. So therefore, a variety of different solutions and services will have the most impact in terms of return on investment. So that's why we consider the wider services, not just one to one support but also educational workshops on different topics and themes. Also having access to good quality educational content, credible content, okay, on any area of finances so that people don't go down that rabbit hole and we can avoid the Google effect. But equally, some people prefer online learning, some people prefer face-to-face -face learning. But what we've found certainly in, in the last six to 12 months is that actually beyond outsourcing any kind of financial well-being training and support, upskilling people internally is what's going to leave the long lasting effects of good financial well-being. And what we're trying to do is to aim that at leaders and managers and mental health first aiders and internal trainers so that they can go on and be equipped to help people with any element of their financial well-being beyond any outsourcing for training providers. Um, so what's the best way to go about implementing one-to-one -one financial support? And I guess what we've learned is that employees and employers need to have an understanding, first of all, of what financial well-being actually is and what it means to them, because we know that it means different things to different people. But you also want to have a mechanism of measuring your financial well-being um, and recognising that, you know, people are at different stages um, depending on, you know, whether they're vulnerable, whether they're struggling to, to put food on the table um, or the other end of the scale.
So being able to measure financial well-being and see where the needs are within your organisation is absolutely crucial. And then maybe targeting maybe some more of those vulnerable groups with one-to-one -one support. And we know that once we have delivered some training and employees have got to know FinWell and realise that we, you know, we are experienced and we do come with you know, credibility, that actually they feel more comfortable opening up about their own personal situation. So what we have seen off the back of workshops has been you know, good uptake and better outcomes if we're targeting those particular colleagues for one-to-ones. As I said, not all colleagues will need a one-to-one or want a one-to-one, but being able to understand who needs it the most is really crucial. Okay, so what would be my main top tips then to employers that are considering implementing financial well-being support. So I think considering a personalized, diverse and inclusive approach, you know, a number of different things, you know, because different people will learn in different ways, different people will need different things. We always say to start small and build up a program over time. As your people get to learn and meet us, they become more relaxed and more open to improving their financial well-being. And that comes over time with trusted providers that people can relate to. And again, it's important to have people that are relatable, that do have and bring their own experiences to this as well. And that's how employers will start to break down some of these barriers and some of the taboo and stigma that surrounds financial well-being in the workplace.